God used the word serpent to symbolize disobedience and sin of man, human flesh, resulting from the desire, lust of man's art, thoughts and imaginations. Again we appeal to the Bible, for by the word of God truth is established. It is recorded at John chapter 3 verses 14 to 15, the words of Jesus, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Here we have a parallel drawn by Jesus, thus indicating the symbolism of the serpent, because it was God who instructed Moses to make a fiery serpent and mount it on a pole. So Moses mounted a serpent of brass, Numbers chapter 21 verses 6 and 9, thus signifying the method by which the serpent would be put to death, his head crushed by the seed of the woman as prophesied in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15, brass signifying the flesh and the serpent signifying the desire, lusts of the flesh. So we see in the corpse of Jesus hanging on a tree on the cross, the death of the devil, the serpent. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. The actual putting to death of him who had the power of death, the devil, was the life Jesus devoted to obedience to his father, even to the death on the cross. This constituted the process of crushing the serpent's head. Jesus accomplished this within himself by his own choice because it was his meat desire to perform the Father's will. John chapter 4 and verse 34. When Jesus established the memorial table, see Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26, Mark chapter 14 and verse 22, and Luke chapter 22 and verse 19, he spoke only of his body given and his blood shed in commemoration of his death. Paul, in writing to the Corinthians, stated that this communion table is for the express purpose of proclaiming the Lord's death until he comes. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 28 And Peter calls to mind the price paid for our redemption. It is the death of Jesus by his blood poured out. So in accordance with the Lord's style of expressing his truth hid in a mystery, here we have an allegory. The children of Israel, when wandering through the wilderness, were bitten by little fiery serpents because of disobedience and sins, which would result in death unless, except, they would by faith turn and look upon the brazen serpent hanging on a tree in order to be cured. So likewise the saints, spiritual Israel, who are confronted daily by sins, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. The first letter of John, chapter 1 and verse 8, as they wander through the wilderness of mortal life, will reap death unless they turn by faith and behold the man hanging on the cross where the devil, the serpent, had been put to death, and so are they healed. See the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verses 21 to 25. Although Jesus put to death the diabolos within himself by the life that he lived and the death that he died, the influence of sin is still at work. However, the saints will be justified in due time by the grace of God because of Jesus' obedience.